we have compelling evidence that aerosolized aluminum alone uh, will enter the brain and produce damage to that critical area of the brain. Uh, the worst of all is the nano size. Now, nano size means you make it such a small particle uh, that it easily penetrates skin, it penetrates barriers in the body that normally metals cannot pass through. And they find that the nano size aluminum in the brain is infinitely more toxic. As a geophysical weapon, capable of interaction with an array of dangerous electromagnetic emissions, chemtrails are far more than what geoengineering implies. Chemtrails contain ionizing salts and other chemicals that change the electrical characteristics of the atmosphere in ways that do not act as solar radiation management. Chemtrails are sprayed low in the troposphere at 30 to 40,000 feet not in the stratosphere above 60,000 feet, where the term stratospheric aerosol geoengineering prescribes. The things that they're putting in the sky, they affect our health massively. But it is very well known that they are putting aluminum in the sky along with all kinds of other chemicals. Uh, so when you nanosize aluminum and you uh, use it in uh, these aerosols through the nasal passages, uh, it enters the brain in very high concentration. Now one of the toxic uh, reactions to aluminum is intense inflammation uh, and activation of cells in the brain that are the immune cells called microglia. Uh, aluminum is a very potent activator of these uh, immune cells. This is terrible and you are all being affected by this. You better wake up look up and realize what's being dumped upon us. Do your research and turn off the TVs. Chemtrail is a real word originated by the prime suspects themselves, the Department of Defense. Chemtrail is used by observers around the planet to best describe what is polluting their atmosphere every hour of every day.